Welcome everyone. On this video, I am going to show how to replicate uh, MariaDB instance, MariaDB database. Uh, I have installed uh, the MaskDB on this server and I have also configured the WordPress. So, whatever I update on the master database or master uh, WordPress, uh, 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 that information will be replicated to the this instance. Uh, for example, I, uh, here I have uh, my uh, public IP of the master. So, uh, so if I go to that server and you, uh, let's go to edit a page, page. I'm going to quick edit it version 3 okay uh, version 3 let's go to the public IP of uh, the uh, uh, public IP of that uh, slave okay this is sample page so this is a sample page so this is uh, the version 3 is already here let's quickly edit one more time for update uh, here it is okay so this is how i am going to do for example if you, you can see a diagram here uh, for example if you have a cluster like this where it be uh, the proxy here maybe you have a right read uh, splits i am going to take the information from the read uh, uh, read replica okay as i said, uh, through log so any uh, through binary logging i create i uh, first we need to take the full backup okay then the backup contains some um, you know some uh, points where uh, it's take the data uh, database so we need to input on the uh, state that this is the this is the uh, point uh, where we took the backup then from that point this uh, will get a replicated uh, copy or rest of the data will get from um, that point so I will show you details so what is the benefit is we have a site like this okay if you create a, a replica like this what will happen uh, the benefit is you can create uh, uh, multiple usage on this read only uh, server and uh, from there you can take uh, information to a BA server where you can create a graphics graph and other uh, things okay you can uh, experiment the data from here which are read only so nothing uh, can change from uh, uh, nothing is affecting on the production environment so uh, this is a read only you cannot put any data on this or you cannot make any update on this database server only you can read from here to here you can create multiple users on the server and you can uh, uh, display it in a yeah, server Let's start the installation process. Let's uh, delete all this one and terminate. I'm going to create a new, new instances.
okay on the master let's see a let's see the server id it's the server id is one and uh, let's see it on the same on the other server it is also one so we need to change this one okay okay to change this one we need to exit I don't know. I guess then let's add the server ID here. So it is two. So the server ID has been changed to 2. Then next thing we need to change it. Uh, uh, see it here. It's on on both server. The next one, this is off. So let's make it on. Let's make it on. Uh, this one it's on so do it on the same there okay now from the now let's create uh, um, let's create a folder for backup so this is our backup directory and here so this is Let's go to root password. Let's back up. So if it's not available, install the Maria DB backup. <clears throat> make sure <clears throat> make sure you have the bin log file info. Okay, oh, so this file we should need to copy it to the other server okay 
and also we need to uh, prepare it maybe uh, you like a prepare on the product on the mask okay so now let's copy this folder uh, to the other server so I yeah it's copy to the destination server which is the green it is here so the backup is here now let's uh, copy all this file to the our destination folder so let's copy all this folder Make sure you have all this behind to stop the media system CTL stop MySQL. So on the uh, destination server, the uh, DB has been stopped. For example, if you go to here. Make sure it's all kind of shared stuff. Okay. Let me copy this one. Okay. So you make sure uh, you have this folder is empty okay so we don't need uh, existing data here run it again okay it's completed and uh, when if you start again uh, the maria db system secure yes. Show us an error. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, you need to change the permissions. Okay. running now and uh, let's copy uh, the, uh, uh, the let's copy the my uh, the WordPress configuration as well so here So we are copying the config file which contain the uh, which contain the 
database connection properties everything so let's copy it from this one form ubuntu wp config to one w same so it's we have replaced it now we come back here uh, the database has been uh, same as origin okay same as origin so but still the replication has not yet started so let's concentrate on let's concentrate uh, uh, replication here so copy the local IP of the slave and you come back here and paste it replace it we are going to create users okay so on the make sure it is on the server master okay from uh, now copy the master ip paste it here so from uh, now go to the slave and try to access the try to access the master view okay. so pass it pass it okay you have access now okay so exit Hmm. Now, now we copy the GTID from here. So, cat, uh, make sure you are on the here. Okay, so basically, you do this one. So, this is the GTID. Copy the GTID here. This is a GTID. Okay, now uh, paste the GTID here on this command. Okay, make sure you are on the save. Minus QL, log in with your command. Stop. Uh, reset slave, reset slave or reset master, set global GTAD position. Okay, perfect. Now, you need to find again on the what is a master. This is a master. Just here, port. Make sure the port is correct or you can use your custom port and make sure that your password is uh, username. Password is uh, everything is correct. Okay. Okay, that's all. Now, now, now you no need to make this database as a uh, read write. Only need to make it as a read only. So make it as a read only. Okay. So click this and start the slave here. Okay, same started. Let's make an edit here. Quick edit. We want update and uh, let's go to the uh, slave server. Go to the uh, sample page. 